35 years is just a little bit over half my life. It is half of John and Noreen's life that they have been looking for their son. Gosh family friend Ron Sampson woke up today feeling sad. He'll never forget that morning 35 years ago in West Des Moines when 12-year-old Johnny Gosh vanished from this street corner near Valley High School. The rubber bands from the Des Moines Sunday Register and the wagon he carried the newspapers in, the only evidence he was here. It's something that's embedded in our generation's minds and hopefully we'll pass it on to the kids that are now raising their kids. Samson wrote about the Gosh case for the West Des Moines Express newspaper back in the 80s. He became friends with Johnny's parents, John and Noreen. I think that our son was taken off the corner of 42nd and Marcourt. I don't believe for one minute that he ran away or walked voluntarily with anyone. He just wouldn't do that. Day after day, police and volunteers searched for Johnny, but the days turned into weeks, months, and years. Theories of kidnapping and sex rings have come and gone. The case even inspired the first missing pictures on milk cartons, thanks to Anderson, Erickson, Derry. That's the incredible thing. After 35 years, there is not clue one. Still a very much active case. West Des Moines Police Spokesman Sergeant Mike Impolo says the department still receives tips in the case, but nothing yet to solve the crime. We still follow the leads on this case just like we do every other, even like we did back in 1982. John and Noreen Gosh have long been divorced, but still hope for an end to their son's disappearance. And they aren't the only ones. For John and Noreen's sake, I hope that there's a resolution. For all of our sakes, I hope there's a resolution.